I'm of the opinion that we need more all-in-one coolers like this. This is Lee and Lee's Hydro Shift 2, but I'm not talking about the fact that the tubes come directly down from the radiator to the pump and it looks really neat. Instead, I'm talking about the fact that it's a fanless all-in-one cooler. It's an AIO that comes with no fans. It has everything you need to install in your system, but is basically completely free of fans, giving you the option to put whatever fans you want on it, which I think is a really great idea. It means that you can take stealth fans like Corsair's RX120 Max fans, for example, and put those on it for a really powerful cooling experience, or something to match the rest of the fans in your system, like Lee and Lee's Infinity Wireless fans, as I've put on here. Now, obviously, putting Lee and Lee fans on a Lee and Lee cooler makes a lot of sense, pretty natural but you might want to use fantex fans or thermal take fans or some other fans that match the rest of the fans in your build this is really logical and a great thing from lee and lee and i wish we could see more of it from other brands i have personally swapped out a lot of kraken elite coolers from nzxt with other fans now the fans that come with the kraken elite are decent but I like to put on Lee and Lee's fans to match the rest of the build. And I know a lot of other people do similar things from builds I've seen on Reddit and just generally online. I put reverse blades on this one, for example, and side mounted it. So we've got an intake radiator set up there. I've done the same in my main build where I've got intake fans on a 360 millimeter Kraken cooler there. So obviously now I'm wasting fans because the ones that came with the Kraken are no longer being used. Azus has a lot of different coolers, which it includes some very nice fans with some very capable fans, great for delivering good cooling performance. But these fans aren't available to purchase separately. You just can't buy them, which means they have to sit separately from what you've got in your build already. You can see these ones standing out in a case that's otherwise got completely stealth fans in it. So you either use the fans that are on the radiator and hope that they deliver good performance, or you swap them for ones that you prefer. This cooler from Azus also has really good interlocking magnetic fans. But again, I swapped it out with TL fans. These are the wireless reverse blade fans in the Lamborghini build from Lee and Lee. Naturally, you want your case to look good and you want the things to match. Now, obviously, this is an additional expense because you bought the AIO and then you bought additional fans. You either have e-waste or you buy a fanless all-in-one cooler and then you put your own fans in it. Now, hopefully those fanless variants might be cheaper and that will be beneficial. And the performance will vary depending on what fans you put on it. But as you can see here from the experience I had in the Mini V2 with the wireless fans on the HydroShift, I'm getting around 60 degrees C under load when gaming with it and it is just delivering really good cooling performance and still looking nice and running quiet so this is definitely a brilliant option if you are thinking about using a hydro shift or all-in-one cooler in your system i just want to say that more brands need to pay attention to this and to do it release fanless models of your all-in-one cooler obviously you'll need to explain to the audience that they need to buy fans to put on it but enthusiasts or seasoned builders will already know how to do this or know that it needs to be done and they'll end up with a much better system and a much more logical way of doing things. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Let me know in the comments if you agree and thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.